Bismillah wa alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tamasaka bi sunnatihi bi ihsanin ila yumiddin Amma ba'd After praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and sending the salutations upon the Messenger alayhi salatu was salam and upon his family and his companions and upon all those who follow upon his guidance into the establishment of the last day to proceed ikhwan wa subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma alamtana innaka anta al alim al hakim glory belongs to you ya Allah verily we have no knowledge Except that which you have taught us. Indeed, you, Ya Allah, you are the all knower and the all wise. You are the all knower and the all wise. Allahumma inna na'udhu bika min ilmin la yinfa' wa min qalbin la yakshaa wa min nafsin la tashba' wa min du'ain la yusma' Verily, Ya Allah, we seek refuge with you from knowledge that has no benefit and from a heart that has no fear and from a soul that has no satisfaction nor contentment. And from a dua that goes an answer. And from a dua that goes an answer. To proceed, Ikhwan. Tay, fanawasil ma'akum fi hadihi al-laylatil mubarakatil karima awnan min al-Rahman al-Rahim. So we continue, Ya Allah. So we continue, Ikhwan, in this. Noble night of ours, seeking the assistance and the aid of our Lord, the most merciful and the most compassionate. Fi ta'alimina al-lughat al-arabiyya, al-lughat al-arabiyya, as we continue to embark upon studying collectively the Arabic language. Studying collectively the Arabic language. Tay, Wali Ashab al Kutub, Fawasana. إلى صفحة حادية وخمسين حادية وخمسين So for those that have the book, ya ikhwan We have arrived at page number 51 Page number 51 طيب فقال المؤلف Allahu yahdihi wa yana. So the author he continues, may Allah guide him and all of us. May Allah guide him and all of us. So he says now, ya khwan, fahasa. We learned this word before, bihamdillah. Fahasa means to examine, to inspect, to search. Fahasa al al jawaza. So the official, the the officer at the airport, the official, he inspected al jawaz. He inspected the passport. Tay. Fakalima tu yaqwan fahasa. Taalam naha qabalu. We learned this word before. Bihamdulillah. Uktubuha. Write it down again, yaqwan. So the word Wa alaikum salam ya shaykh Kifa halukum The word Wa alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh So the word Fahasa means to examine you can also say to search. None. 
to test, to examine, to inspect. Fahasa. Fahasa. To inspect, to examine. No. Right. means to examine, to inspect, um, to search. So he says, huh? No, I was going to say, can you give me a minute? I just logged on. I wanted to write that down. Sorry. No, Fahasa. And that's to explain. Are you? Not to explain, to examine. Oh, to examine, I'm sorry. Mm. Are you? Yeah, but so he says, Fahasa al Mawadhaful Jawaza. So the, the official, he inspected, he examined Al Jawaz, the passport. Al Jawaz, the passport. And after that, Wajjaha Mahmudan ila Salit al Jamarik. And after that, he directed or he pointed Mahmud in the direction of Salit al Jamarik, the hallway of customs. The hallway of customs. So he says, and after that, write this down here, Kwan. And after that, Ubifu al-Harakat, let's add our vowels. And this should be a ain. And after that. And after that. And after that, and after that, Wajjaha Mahmudan, Wajjaha Mahmudan. One second, Ed. and this should be a wow. Mahmudan Toy. So he says, and after that, Wajjaha Mahmudan. He faced Mahmud, meaning he turned Mahmud, he pointed Mahmud in the direction of. He faced Mahmud. He faced Mahmud. He turned Mahmud in the direction. Ila Salat al Jamarik. To the hallway of Al Jamarik is customs. Al Jamarik is customs. A new word, Yahwan, Kalimatun Jadida, a new word. Tuktabu Kham San Rashrina Marra, and we write our words 25 times each. Alhamdulillah. So the first new word of tonight, Awalu Kalimatun Jadida Tindi Hadi Hilayla, first new word of tonight is Al Jamarik. Al Jamarik, Al Jamarik customs. When you bring goods to a country, they have to inspect them. That usually goes to custom. Right. So the word is Al Jamarik, Al Jamarik, Al Jamarik customs.
customs طيب فهذا يا اخوان اول كلمه جديده لهذا الدرس في هذه الليله so tonight's first new word the rest of the words we already learned alhamdulillah the first new word of tonight is aljamarik customs aljamarik so we write our words how many times يا اخوان every new word we write 25 times طيب فاذكروا يا اخوان ان كتابه الكلمات الجديده يا اخوان ليس الاصل ليس القصد remember يا اخوان writing the words 25 times is not our goal writing them 100 times is not our goal that's just a means that hopefully will help us arrive at our goal our goal is حفظ الكلمات is to memorize the vocabulary ف الكتابة وسيلة فقط وليس القصد وليس القصد. So remember writing the words يا إخوان like you write your ayat or your ahadith or whatever book you're memorizing. Writing the points, the verses, the ahadith down is not the goal. The goal is that you memorize it so you can work by it. That's the goal. طيب مواصلة let's continue إن شاء الله طيب قال طلب موظف الجمارك من محمود so he says he requested the official of the جمارك of the customs the office of the customs he طلب he requested من محمود he requested from محمود so the word طلبه مرت بنا أيضا this word we already learned also يا إخوان نكتبها مرة ثانية we'll write it down again إن شاء الله the word طلبه طلبه means to request can also mean to seek to seek طلبه means to request to request to seek mashallah is more than to ask it's like a it's a level higher than to ask and stronger than just to, to seek it not merely to ask it but you're seeking it and this is talaba and this is talaba so we have a few words ya ikhwan مرت بنا هذه الكلمة أيضا. We already learned this word before. الحمد لله. طالبة. Twenty five times يا إخوان. Remember يا إخوان. The first three years of your studies in Arabic language. The first three years at least. أهم شيء لنا ليست النا أو ليس نحو أو ليس نحو أو ليس صرفة أو ليس البلاغة لا. كلها مهم صح. ولكن أهم شيء لنا في بداية طالبين العربية حفظ الكلمات. Remember your first three years at least. The most important thing to us in our beginning seeking of studying of the Arabic language is not principles of grammar, is not principles of صرف, is not principles of eloquence. That's important, yes, no doubt, but it's not. Important to us right now. Your first year of Arabic, it's not important. Your second year, no. The most important thing is memorizing the vocabulary, learning, memorizing the words. وهذا الأصل في تعليم جميع اللغات. And this is the origin if you're studying any language, that you memorize the words first, and then you start learning نحو and صرف and the various sciences of Arabic. No. طيب. So now we have a few new words, يا إخوان. عندنا الآن. So our first word, فحصى. First word of tonight, فحصى. فحصى. Twenty-five times. To examine. 
to see uh, to search to scrutinize the house law to test al Jamarik. The next word we learn Al Jamarik customs. Customs. Remember, try to write your words, Ikhwan. Write them and say them. What's the benefit of studying the Arabic language if we're not going to utilize it? The next word that we learned was Talaba. 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 To request. To seek. Let's continue. So he says, Min Mahmudin from Mahmud. He requested from Mahmud. What did he request from Mahmud? And Yaftah al Hakiba for him to open the bag. So Al Mawadhaf Al Anya Khwan Yatulubu min Mahmudin Shay Wahua Fathul Hakiba. So now if you can imagine the official of the customs is requesting from Mahmud something. And that is to open the bag. Yaftaha al Hakiba. Taib al an Uratikum Shay and Ma Mina Saraf. Oh Shay and Ma Mina Nahu. So now we're gonna give one point from grammar. One point from grammar. Now this is not really important to us right now, Yahwa, but just as a benefit. Just as a benefit. Write this word down. The word N. Write this word down, Yahwa. N. The word N. Aleph Noon. N. طيب N هو الحرف This type of word here N It is a particle هو حرف It is a particle هو حرف This word N What type of word is it? It's a particle هو حرف It is عفوا a particle. It is up. A fun. This should be an L. No. A part of one. This should be a C. Sorry. Particle. Toy. And Hona Yehuan. And Hona. Who a half. This N here. What type of word is it? It's a particle. What type of word is it? It's a particle. طيب في لغة العربية الكلمات أو أنواع الكلمات ثلاثة. Write this second benefit down now, يا إخوان. In the Arabic language, there are only three types of words. That's it. If you were to divide all of the types, not how many. Don't misunderstand my point. Put your mute on your phone. Not how many words, but the types of words. In the Arabic language, there are only three types of words. Write this down, your phone. Al kalimatu. Al kalimatu. Al kalimatu. Fi lugatil. في لغة العربية ثلاثة ثلاثة write this down يا اخوان in the Arabic language of the words or the types of words الكلمات في لغة العربية the types of words
and the Arabic language are three. I want you to memorize that. In the Arabic language, Richard meets on Yahuan. And the Arabic language. Hmm. R3. Not how many words there are. The types. When you're talking about the different types of words. If you were to divide and break down all the various types of words in Arabic language, you're going to find that there are only three. Are we going to one? There are three types. I don't know if I'm right. I'm going to walk. Alright. Put your mute on your Yahuwah. If you're walking, I'm going to say this. May Allah bless you all. Put your mute on your Yahuwah. So the types of words in Arabic language are three. Are three. Al-awwal, first type, al-ism. Al ismu. First one is al ismu. First one is al ismu. First type of word is al ismu. Is the noun. Al ismu. First type of word. There are only three types of words in Arabic. That's it. It's a principle, Yahuwah. It's only three types of words. First one is alismu, the noun. Tayyip. Athania, second type, alfi'lu. Alfi'lu. Second type, alfi'lu. The verb. Al-fi'lu The verb Al-fi'lu The verb And the last time, ya ikhwan Al-harufu Al-harufu First type Al-ismu The noun Second type, al fi'lu, the verb. Third type, al harufu, the particle. So, How many types of Arab, how many types of letter? How many types of words? Three. Al Ula number one. First one. Al Ismu. Athania, second type. Al Firlo. The verb. Athalitha two. Number three. Al Harufu. Kalima to N, so the word N, back to our point. The word N, Yehwan, the word N, N, Aleph, Noon, N, the Karuna, N, the Haruf, we mentioned that N is a Haruf, N is a particle. So both are one particle? Mm. I think I lost you, Sheikh. Uh, Both of what? You're talking about the same same word. N. Yeah, you're talking about N and then. Uh, okay. Okay. Hey, N is a particle. N. N is a particle. <laughs> The word haruf means particle. We just translated it. Toy. An yahwan yadu khulu al al ism. Afan. Yadu khulu al al fi'l. 
So the tricky part is N usually goes in front of a verb. You find that N goes in front of a verb. Thumma you athiroho. And then it affects the verb. It does something to the verb. إِذَا الْفِعْلُ يَكُونُ مُضَارِعًا If the verb is the present tense verb, not the past tense verb. It does nothing to the past tense verb. If N, when N falls on the present tense verb, and it usually only falls on the present tense verb, it changes it. So you have to pay attention there. For example, طَيْرٍ For example, يا إخوان فتحة. فتحة ما معنى فتحة what does فتحة mean who can translate فتحة 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 لا لا لا. The verb فتحة. It's a verb. How would you translate it, إخوان؟ The word فتحة means to open. Or you can say he opened. فتحة to open or he opened. سورة الفاتحة اسمها يؤخذ من هذا الفعل سورة الفاتحة its name is derived from this verb سورة الفاتحة its name is derived from this verb the origin is فتحة open طيب وهذا في الماضي that's in the past he opened في المضارع نقول يفتح In the present tense, you would say يفتح He is opening Or he opens That's in the present tense يفتح So in the past, is فتح He opened in the present tense, it becomes يفتحو. That's why the verbs are so tricky. This is where most students of the Arabic language stop when you get to verbs. When you get to verbs, it's going to teach you, do you really want to study Arabic or you just want to play with Arabic? Most of the students of the Arabic language stop right here when you get to verbs. Verbs are the most difficult thing you're going to study from the Three types of words. Verbs are the most difficult. There's a past tense, a present tense, a future. There's an amr. That, and the nouns is not like that. There's no tense. It doesn't have nothing to do with time when it comes to the nouns and the huruf and the particles. But verbs, you deal with time and the meaning and how many and, and the gender at the same time. Verbs are difficult. Thay. So now, pay attention here, ya Juan. So now we got Mathalan. Yaf Taho El Baba. Pay attention here. Yaf Taho El Baba. He opened the door. Go off one. He is opening. In the present, he is opening hmm, the door. I'm so sorry. Now we're going to start this sentence with N. So pay attention to the Dhamma on the Ha. يفتحو. We mentioned the Karna and the N. You are al fi'l. We mentioned that N is going to affect the verb. So now we're going to add the particle N. And now it's going to make the Fetha 
uh, it's going to make the dhamma a fatha. So it becomes an yaftaha. Al baba. Right? An yaftaha al baba. And the only reason this dhamma becomes a fatha is because of the n. That's it. So n changes the the tense of the verb, or not the tense, the condition of the verb, and it makes it end in a fatha. It makes it end in a fatha. Thank you. So if, for example, if there were two people, al muthanna, the duo. The Muthanna, we mentioned that you add an Aleph and the Noon. Fine. We're going to get to that later on again, yeah, Juan. So now two people, those two men open. You would say, Yaf Tahani Al Baba. Pay attention here. Yaf Tahani. Al Baba, those two men or those two people, two people did it. Those two open the door. Or oh, those two are opening the door. Oh, All yeah. right. So pay attention to the noon here. Now it's two people, so there is no dhamma. So pay attention to the noon. And it's just a benefit, as we mentioned. It's going to come again later. We're just showing you what N does. N affects the verb, the present tense verb. So now it becomes N yaf taha al baba. Now the noon is omitted. The noon drops off because of the N. There is no fatha, or there is no dhamma, so it can change the dhamma. Only thing you can do is take away the noon. So it becomes an yaftaha al bab. So the so bad 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 is you know, that's the one person, person and, and the one on top, top is for two people? No, they both are, uh, same sentence. They both are for two people. But the oh, noon okay. drops away. Okay, the noon drops, drops away and, and it goes in the front there. No, no, no. The yeah. noon, you look at this noon here. Okay. When you add n, this noon disappears. Yeah. That's it. If there's a dhamma, the dhamma becomes a fatha. Like that. The point here, yeah, Juan, is that n affects. It alters the present tense verb. That's it. All right? And we'll get to that another time. Right now, that was just a benefit. Because he mentions it in the sentence. If you look at the look at your book here, look at your screen here, Juan. You see the word N? You see the verb yaftaha. <laughs> the origin of this fetha here, this fetha is really a bamma. It's really a bamma. It only becomes a fatha because of N. That's the point I want you to know. But that's when we get to grammar and like this. Right now, it's just a benefit. That's it. Right now, it's just a benefit. Right, so let's finish the passage, yeah, Juan, inshallah. Right, as you mentioned, that's just a grammar point. It's not important right now. If you notice, we just give a little bit of points, a grammar. We focus on the vocabulary now. In the beginning of your first stages of Arabic, a lot of grammar is no benefit. You want to study the book that's in front of you. I remember our sheikh used to say, don't be the teachers that you're teaching one book, but in reality, you're not. You're giving... You're coming from this book and that book and that book and this book. That in reality, you're not focusing on the book in front of you. Build the students level by level. 
So you want to try point by point. Our goal, the first year, your first two years of Arabic, grammar is not important. What's the benefit of knowing how to use the word if you don't even know what the word is? It's no benefit. And no one teaches like that. None of the Arabs teach like that. For example. And no one that learned Arabic correctly learned Arabic like that. No one. Who learned it correctly. Firstly, you get some vocabulary. And now you learn how to use the vocabulary. Like when you learn English. You're not going to teach your children vocabulary in the beginning. No one's going to do that. Ta'i. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wajada Muwadhaful Jamarik, the official of the customs found. The official of the custom found. Wajada Muwadhaful Jamarik, the official of the customs found. Taib Kalima Tun Jadida, another new word, Yahwan. Uktubu Hadil Kalima, write this word down. Wajada. Wajada. Wajada means to find, to locate. It's a new word. To find. Or he found. To find. Or you can say what? He found. 25 times, Ikhwan. Every new word. And remember, if you haven't learned it after you write it 25 times, write it 25 more times. If you just write the word and you don't use it, you're not going to memorize it. It's not going to stick. So you learn the word, teach the word. Firstly, learn the word, use it, and then teach it. And that's the sunnah of the prophets. So what does that mean? To find. To find. You say, for example... Wajadat, Afan. You say, for example, Wajadat al -bayta. You say, she found, she located the house. Wajadat al -bayta. She found the house. And the feminine. Wajada. She, whoever she is, she found the house. This ta here on the verb lets you know it's feminine. That the doer is feminine. It's not a condition, but usually. She found the house. She found the masjid. Wajidatil al kitaba, she found the book. The point here, wajida means to find. Wajida means to find. Tayyip. Wajida muwadhaful jamarik, the official of the customs found. Where did he find something? He says, Fil Hakiba in the bag. Fil Hakiba. Fil Hakiba in the bag. Tay Oktu Bihadi al Kalima. Write this next word down here, Juan. Kalima to fi. The word fi. We'll give you two benefits of fi, inshallah. Fi. The word fi. Fi means in. It can also mean on. It can also mean above. It can also mean regarding. Uh, and a few more, yeah. Toya. Fi kadalika harf. Fi is also a harf. Fi is also harf. It's also a particle. Fi, uh, fi is also a particle.
So the type of word fi is is the same type of word n is. Fi is also harf. It's also a particle. It's not important right now. That's just a benefit. The second part. The type of word it is is not really important. It's just a benefit. If you don't, if you memorize this right now, alhamdulillah. But if you don't, it's not important. Fi is a particle. If you memorize that, mashallah, that's a blessing. So now we have two words that are the same type of word. N and fi. They both are particles. So tonight we learned a few things, Ikhwan. We have a brief review, inshallah, before we stop. Tonight we learned a few things. Al Amr al Awal, the first thing we learned. Ba'dul Kalimat. The first thing we learned was some words. Alhamdulillah. First thing we learned was some new words. Wa kadalika. Adada anwa al kalimat. Also, we learned also the number of the types of words. And we mentioned that was. We want you to go back and do the review, Yehwan. So we learned some words, and we learned the types of words, how many types of words there are in the Arabic language. No. Three. Three types. Alhamdulillah. I sent ismun, fi'lun, wa harfun, a noun, a verb, and a particle. No. Ismun, fi'lun, no. Okay, if I like to be here, there was time there, yeah, Juan. What does that come along? Hiron, may I reward all of you with good? When you are Limana Jimmy and a look at the Arabia, and then Allah teaches all of us the Arabic language. When I saw to for me in Allah, what I thought to for me, never see anything we said that's correct is from Allah, anything we said is incorrect is from ourselves. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.